Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you will receive step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this cute nail art design. So, make sure you stay until the end, take notes, and don't forget to like and subscribe because next week will come a new video tutorial. Probably one of the most cute artwork is Minnie Mouse. Let's do it together. Using a gel paint, I draw diagonal line and bottom part of nail plate. Then I do another one perpendicular and now parallel line and we connect them together in a, an arch. Another parallel line, make them symmetric to each other and again in a curve line we connect. This will be the eyes for our mini mouse. Everything you can adjust. At this moment we just do um, some skizzes for our artwork. Now I do a big semicircle defining the size of the head don't make it too big because uh, we also need space for uh, the bow now we made the head semicircle and the bottom part we connect in a waved line a curve line which we define the nose mouth of our mini mouse now a big circle on the right top part which we define the ears will have just one in, the, in this artwork. No worry at this moment if the line is uh, a little bit crooked, everything will be fixed later. You can cure now for 30 seconds. Using light beige gel polish, I'm starting to paint the eyes, mouth, face of Minnie Mouse and also I cover the borderline of what we have did initially, painted on top. We, they don't need to be visible, we'll, uh, we need them later. And make uh, them rounded, the face, and then a cure for another 30 seconds. Using black gel paint, we paint the remaining area with black. At this moment, make sure you adjust is everything is round, no corners, no everything. So overlap the previous line and uh, before you cure, make sure have, um, you have straight lines round because this will be our last layer that I cure 60 seconds because I have used gel paint and this required the full cure. Now let's do the face element. I draw a small curve line which will define the separation between eyes and nose and I do in the bottom part an oval which will define the nose of Minnie Mouse. Then we draw another curve line, which will define the big smile for Minnie Mouse.
in the top part we draw the eyes i'm starting with two parallel lines try to make them symmetric on the both sides and we connect these parallel lines with a, a curve line then we again we cure in the lamp The shape of small ovals on top part we defining the eyeball for our cute mini mouse we cure in the lamp for another 30 seconds and design is almost ready at this moment using red gel polish i'm starting to draw first of all a square then from this square we drag the curve line left and right side defining the wings for our bow Fill up with the color, the bow, make sure it's pigmented and this a um, little bit thicker layer to cover everything what we had done previously. And before you cure in the lamp, make sure you like the shape of the bow. Otherwise, you can adjust it, make one bigger one. And even if it uh, doesn't fit full on, uh, on a nail plate, is totally fine because the, our artwork is placed in diagonal I have cured in a lamp previous layer now using black gel paint let's give a contour and we define the layers back and front for the eyeball make sure here is important the thickness of the lines make them thin lines we just need to give contour Using our bargain mix, what we have used it before, we're starting to add shadow. So I place it in the back area, the one to define front and back and bended um, area for the bow. And after we start to blend them together to have a smooth transition from light to shadow. Then another layer we cure in a lamp.
we know the rule where is the shadow then needs to be also the light so using white mix so top coat with gel polish white mix it together we're adding some white spots where we'll define the lightness for our bowl and we blend them A little bit of light we give to his nose and the same we blend we cure this layer for 30 seconds Using light pink gel polish, I draw his tongue. We can do a thread, but I don't want to have too much accent. So we keep the accent color for the top part. Now using our light brown, I draw just a fine line on top of our contour to give a little bit of shadow. I don't blend it. I, in case you make it too thick, then you can blend it, but I give a little bit of contour to his face shapes using white gel paint I do two teeny tiny white dots on his eye we give again contour and using black gel paint i do the eyelashes now our mini mouse is done and we have a cute girl time for top coat i seal with top coat I do the layer a little bit thick to make it even. I cure for 60 seconds. Then using white gel paint, I'm starting to add uh, highlights. First of all, for the bow to give contour. We remember I draw inside and beside the black line. This way we'll create more three-dimensional effect. Then we do cure for 60 seconds and our design is ready.